Hi, this is Chuck. I want to share with you a tip to save some time. Many of you are familiar with UI 11, came out in June 2011, and it's available in all new instances. One of the features that makes it so attractive is the Power Edge, where you can put records and lists and all kinds of things over here to make it very easy to navigate through the system. However, not everybody's available to use UI 11. Your organization isn't ready to train all the users. You haven't installed a plugin, whatever it happens to be. Uh, there is a way to get similar functionality using a system feature called labels. Easiest way to use a label is to open up any record. In this case, I'm going to open up incident 16, right click on the header and go down to assign label and type in new. And I'm going to type bug 100. Let's pretend somebody reported a bug that one of the business rules isn't operating quite the way it should. I'll use incident 16 as my test record. Now when I assign a label, you notice on the nav bar, an application automatically came up called bug 100, whatever label I assign there. And underneath that are any records that I apply that label to, in this case, incident 16. So now from wherever in the system I am, I can go up to my bug 100, click on incident 16, and I'm brought right to this record. Per my scenario, let's right click, go to personalize business rules and find that business rule that somebody said there's a problem with. I can do the same thing to this business rule, right click on the header, assign label, and there's bug 100, the label's already in place. I can apply that right to this record. And in a second, it comes up automatically in that same application. So now with just a simple click, no matter where I am in the system, I can go right to my test record or go to the business rule that I'm debugging. Notice that this business rule has some GS log statements. I want to capture those and I want to use this all the time. I, I like to capture those in the logs. Those will be logged to the script log statements and you can see there's already a few of them down here. Well, I'll come back to that in a second. What I want to do is first go to labels and make something called a toolbox. This is just a label. I'm manually doing what I did a minute ago automatically, but without applying it directly to a record, I'm going to take that debug list, filtered debug list, and put it into my toolbox. So go to toolbox, call this thing, give it a reasonable name, submit that. And because I did that manually, it's not going to automatically show up in the nav bar. I'll refresh the nav bar and you can see I have toolbox and bug 100. There's bug 100. There's toolbox. Now let's go back to the logs and create a custom filter under script log statements. This is often going to be a much larger log file than what you see here, but it's got other things in there than my debug statements. I like to add on to my filter and messages message, excuse me, starts with my standard debug prefix. And it cleans out everything except what I'm looking for. Now that's all fine and dandy, and I could save this as a standard filter, go up here to log and click on it and be done with it. But instead, I'm going to right click on the breadcrumb and say copy URL. When I copy the URL, I'm going to leave off the instance, grab everything from the slash on out. And the reason I do that is because if the system were cloned and my labels got taken along with it and all of the label items, I'd be pointing to the wrong instance. So I copy that into my copy buffer, go back and notice when I click over the name of the label, it turns into a hyperlink. Clicking on that brings up the label information. Yes, I could have just done a right click save while I was creating the toolbox label and gotten this related list called label entries. Just showing you a different way to get there. Click new, call this my debug log. And down here on the target, I'm going to paste in that URL. Submit that. And at any time now, I can use my little toolbox. Even after bug 100 is gone and dead and I delete the label and everything's cool. I'm going to refresh that because it, again, I did it manually. I'm going to have to manually refresh. There's my debug log. I can quickly jump to a filtered log with all of my debug statements in it. Another favorite I like to use, I have to go to elevated permission here. So I click on the lock, open up that. And as I'm unit testing functions and scripts and things, I use 
this thing called script background. It's not available until you elevate the permissions. And on the URL, I can see it's script sys.scripts.do, or I can use my browser and just say copy link address. Let's put that in the toolbox as well. So again, click on toolbox. I get the label entries. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Always during a demo, things run slowly, don't they? Click on new, put in scripts background just for consistency. Click on the target and take off the instance name. I could also export this and send it to a friend if I wanted them to have a scripts background label also. Refresh that. And you can see my toolbox now has a couple of things that I use most frequently and I can work on bug independent things easily. If I want to delete one item, I can use this X and get rid of my test record. Maybe I've got a different test record. If I delete the entire label, I bring up the label bug 100, delete that. It will say warning, you're going to delete all the things underneath it, that's fine. Go back to just my generic toolbox, refresh this, and there you go. Add and remove labels as you wish for easy navigation through the system. It's that simple. Hope you enjoy, stay productive. Thanks for listening.